go to command field type OB58 enter go to position type COBD double click financial statement items expand balance sheet assets non current assets fixed assets now we need to define sub nodes under tangible assets create a new session type f dot one zero put the chart of accounts that is CCOA execute you get the GL list for COVD now we need to create sub nodes for land, building, plant and machinery, motor vehicles furniture and fixture, computers and peripherals as sub nodes under tangible assets. So select this control C and then you go to tangible assets create items control V now you have to put the numbers make it 45 then 46 47 48 49 and then 50 so the following assets are created under tangible assets now you go to the list of ledgers one is left out asset under construction which will be assigned under capital work in progress now you see the range of revenue accounts it starts from Four lakh and ranges to four double line double line line and for expenses it starts from five lakhs and ranges to five double line double line line so you select revenue then assign accounts so it will be this one from 4 lakh to
one less five lakhs. Select debit and credit, and then continue. So this is revenue. And now for expenses, assign accounts. As I told you, it ranges from five lakhs to six lakhs one less. So right here, five lakhs, then five, then nine, 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 nine. Okay. select debit and credit. So far we have assigned accounts for revenue and expenses. Now next we need to assign all the fixed assets here. Let us start with land. Assign accounts. So land will be one lakh eight. Eight. Two, one lakh eight. For building, obviously it will be one lakh nine, one lakh nine, right? One lakh nine, two, one lakh. 9 debit credit and also you need to select accumulated depreciation for building which is 1 lakh 15 so 1 lakh 15 to 1 lakh 15 debit credit So under building, there is building GL as well as accumulated depreciation for building. Similarly, go to plant and machinery and assign accounts. Say for plant and machinery one lakh ten. One like ten. Then you select accumulated depreciation for plant and machinery one like sixteen. One like sixteen. Now you go to motor vehicles, assign accounts, it will be 1 lakh 11, 1 lakh 11, at the same time the accumulated depreciation will be one like seventeen, I suppose, for motor vehicles. Yes, it is one like seventeen. So you select one lakh seventeen. Now select furniture as an accounts. 
it will be 1 lakh 12 and 1 lakh 18 will be your accumulated depreciation. This is for furniture, 1 lakh 18. Lastly, computers. For computers, it will be uh, one lakh thirteen. And the last one will be for accumulated depreciation one lakh nineteen. Save it and continue. So we have completed the fixed assets except asset under construction. So select capital work in progress, assign accounts. It will be one lap fourteen. One lap one lap fourteen to one lap fourteen debit credit capital work in progress asset under construction. Now you move to cash and cash equivalence. Cash and cash equivalence. Assign accounts. For cash and cash equivalence, one account will be cash in hand, this one. One one and the other one will be this is for cash in hand and one leg three for current account one leg three one leg three one leg three for current account cash and cash equivalence now we are left with say Okay, domestic customers, trade receivables, assign accounts, it will be domestic customers, 1002, Domestic customers cash in hand domestic customers is be a current account. Now from one lap four 
to 1 lakh 7 these are all current assets 1 lakh 4 to 1 lakh 7 go to other current assets from 1 lakh 4 to 1 lakh 7 these are all current assets 1 lakh 4 5 6 7 we have completed all this okay now let us move to liability side 